Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to go over the vibrancy filter. This one's actually quite interesting. Um, what it really does is it adds saturation, adds a lot of color, or it can remove that saturation and turn it into brightness. Um, you only have one slider here. It's the amount slider, and then you have a protect skin button. And we'll show you what that does. Now, as you add vibrancy here, you can see how the color is really starting to come out. Then it gets to a point where it's just boom. Don't know why it does it quite like that, but you can see it kind of adds to it. It's a little bit different than a color correction filter in that it really just kind of brings out certain colors. It doesn't really, like the whites, it doesn't add saturation to those. Now if we go back to this direction, it turns it kind of a black and white, and then all of a sudden it makes it really bright. All right, let's add the protect skin and see if it makes a difference. Now what you'll notice is you'll see the blues go, they'll change color, but you won't see, you won't see this area here change color much. You won't see her arm change color. You will see her change color because her skin tone doesn't really fall into that protect skin category. Her arm is changing color a bit, but for some reason, the wood isn't doing much. And then you can see here, as I bring it down, let's turn the protect skin on and off. You can kind of see a blur area around here, around their skin, and around the dock. Okay, let's bring it up. Vibrant. You can kind of see what it does. All right, so that was a vibrancy filter. Next time I'll go over the underwater filter, which is really quite fun. All right, thank you very much for watching. This was the Video Hotline.